everyone, Gina here with Belly Beads Paper Jewelry. I'm here today to bring you a tutorial on how to roll my 12 millimeter baby barrels. Now here they are right here. They're glazed and all done and ready to be made into something. Now this is going to be part one. Uh, part two will be actually making something out of these. But when you purchase this, and if you're not familiar with my website, I also sell the paper strips. And this is the 12 millimeter baby barrel. You get 23 strips. And it's one strip, I'm sorry, yes, makes 23 beads with 23 strips. So it's only one strip that you roll. And here's some more, these are different colors. This is actually what I use as my display on my website. And I have free shipping, $75 or more. Here's some fall colors. All right, and then I have some others. Now this isn't the um, 12 millimeter, but I'm going to do another video on that as well. These are really cool. I just couldn't help but not show these. They look like they're a little like, you know, weathered, tattered, <laughs> worn. What I did was prior to using a hardener and a glaze, I dipped these, the edges into a stamp pad just to make it look like it's a little, you know, worn down there. So they, they were fun to make as well. All right, and my supplies here today, I have three different sizes of paper bead rollers. I do not sell these. These were um, purchased, I purchased them from JP Fun. I'll put all the information down on the um, below there. Now with the, <clears throat> excuse me, with the um, paper bead rollers, you have one, two, and three. And I love these because you can get different shapes out of them if you use now the pins here um they come five sixty fourths three thirty seconds one eighth five thirty seconds and three sixteenths so she has about six of them jp fun has about six of them different sizes and shapes my favorite are the one and the two i love these um this is what i use frequently and then i have my glue i use my clear elmer's glue now, you can use any kind of glue that you want. It's There's whatever you're comfortable with, whatever works for you. But through trial and error, I went through a lot of different types of glues. This clear Elmer's glue worked the best for me. So this is what I'll be using today. Also, I sell these, and they're filled with Elmer's glue. You get three of them for a dollar, which is kind of cool. Now, they will never clog up. Well, I should say never, but as long as you continue to keep this little um, cap on each time you um, you don't use it, that shall do the trick. All right, so let's get started here. I think I'm going to go with the number one. And here are the strips. Now, when you purchase my paper strips on my website, you will notice that there are array of colors. I mean, there's so many different colors. There's patterns, different sizes and shapes. So hopefully, go check it out, take a peek at it and see. Um, now these are, again are the 12 millimeter paper beads and there's 23 strips, which makes 23 beads. And it's just one strip. So I'm going to show you how to roll them. And here we go. So I'm going to use the one. I'm going to get my Elmer's glue. Now, we all know we have to condition our paper. And if you don't know what that means, it's just running it through the paper through your fingers. It allows the paper to roll a little bit um, better. It smooths it out. So, all right. So let me get my, my roller. There is a little notch here. Right there. Let's see if the camera can pick it up hopefully and I'm going to place the paper right in the little slot there and I'm going to start to roll now you want a, a nice tension on it you don't want to pull too tight because then the paper will rip it'll tear it so we want to roll it very nicely now if you find that the edges are starting to not look symmetrical 
you want to go ahead and pinch them together. And there we go. We want to start rolling once again. I usually just take my time. This is so therapeutic. I usually roll paper anywhere. Driving. Uh, if my husband's driving in the car and I'm sitting in the passenger seat, I'm always just rolling some paper. <laughs> All right, so I flipped it over. We're coming to the end. Here is my glue. Now I'm very generous with my glue. Everybody knows that because I always found that you want to just roll it right around the bead itself. This secures it even more. All right, and when I remove it from the paper bead roller, I push. I don't pull it because it will tear it. So I'm gonna go ahead and push it off. And there we have it, a 12 millimeter baby barrel. And in my, my next video, part two, I'm going to create something out of this. So join me then. And if you haven't, um, if you haven't visited my website, please do. You're going to love it. It is so neat. I just love the paper beads. I love the paper strips. I also have um, jewelry findings on there too. So there we go. We have it. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe to it. That really helps my channel and allow me to make more of this content. And click on the bell so you know when my next video is up. All right, thank you everyone. Have a good one, bye.